Ed Wagner from Barnella Winery, small little boutique winery in Tualatin, Oregon, which is part of the Willamette Valley ABA. And today we're doing another uh, video in a series of what we call our Vine to Wine. Today's probably the most exciting day in a winemaker's uh, journey through his winemaking. It's today we're going to finish off our uh, wine today. We're going to bottle it, we're going to cork it, foil it, and label it. and have it ready for, uh, for sale. So today we're doing our 2019 Chardonnay. Uh, this Chardonnay uh, was aged in stainless and uh, two weeks ago I filtered all of the Chardonnay in a 0.5 micron filter assembly and uh, I like to see the Chardonnay to make sure it's nice and clear, that we don't have any heat or cold stabilization issues and we have a beautiful wine we're going to bottle today. We have about 70 gallons, and uh, we're at the end of the day here. We got about another six, eight gallons to go. So our first station here is our sanitation station. The, this is where we have a 12 jet uh, rack in here that shoots a high stream of water with a little uh, a bit of potassium metabisulfite in there. Just make sure we got the bottles nice and clean. Some bottle makers say it's not necessary, but I like to do it just to make sure we're on the safe side. I'm going to turn the jets on just for a second so that you can see the water going in and then I'm also going to make a little bit of a noise here because I like to rotate the bottles around to make sure that we get a, a complete coverage on the inside of the bottle. The main thing about these racks is don't turn it on unless the bottles are in place <laughs> or else you get water all over the place and I've done it. So you can probably hear the noise. If you look these front bottles here, you might be able to see the, the jet uh, up there. Now I'm going to rotate this round, it's a little noisy. Not a very sophisticated way of doing it, but this way I know that the water's going all the way inside the bottle. So that's that concept. And now what we do is we put it into a drain rack. And my wife Christina does all the the filling for me. And this is a little uh, it's a little uh, enolmatic bottle filter. It does an okay job. Uh, the tricky part with this is getting the adjustment so that you get the right it stops at the right fill distance so that you don't have to fool around when you're putting your corks in. And uh, we're going to have her fill a bottle here, and uh, then I'm going to have her do the corking. And then I'll do the foiler capsule and the labeling. And that will give you uh, all five steps of what it takes when you're ready to uh, finish off your product, your wine product. So it fills it to a nice distance from the top. We've got a nice, nice Barnello cork with the, uh, the nice little barn logo on there. And I want to make a, a comment about your corker. Make sure your corker's guides are lined correctly. If you're getting shave of cork off or if the cork's deformed, you, your guides internally are not aligned correctly. Stop and figure it out. So now, once the bottles are corked, and you can see I'm way behind here today, we go to a foiler. And what that is, is there's two types of capsules. A capsule that needs to be, the rollers need to Slips on, and it goes through this roller machine that collapses the polycarbonate or the tin capsule. If you have PVC capsules, those are for heat shrinking. For this nice Chardonnay, uh, we're using a polycarbonate capsule. It's a very simple process. You just go down on it, and you get a nice t tight fit around the top of your bottle. I'm going to do a couple because I want, the, I want you to be able to see the label label machine work operate. For my nice uh, Pinot Noir Reserve, we, we use tin capsules. They're the most expensive ones. We'll do one more here. And then we'll lab label this. Now the other thing I should mention, I always use cotton gloves for the purposes of this. Uh, my hands are bare, but the main thing is once you start touching the bottles, you don't want your oily fingerprints all over the bottles. So we're going to rotate around here. Now we're setting up. This is a Primera AP362. 
which is a two-label a two-label label or a machine. And this is the foot pedal. I prefer to use it with my hands. It's more controllable. But one thing I found about this machine, it does a beautiful job, but you can't let the free the free foil, which is left over, wrap around itself. So the way I do this, I kind of hold it, and push the button, make sure that stays there, and that quickly, that quickly, we have a two-label application to our bottle. Now we used to sit here for hours at a time putting labels on by hand. And we got to the point that it just made sense for us to go ahead and get a, a little label machine here. It does a great job. We have a beautiful product when it's all said and done. It has a counter on it. You can make the distance equal on the back. So we're going to bottle about 360 bottles of Chardonnay today. And uh, we hope this has been somewhat educational for you, uh, you home hobbyists. And uh, if you uh, are interested in our website, it's barnellowine.com. That's B-A-R-N-E-L-L-O, wine.com. We have some beautiful rated 91 Pinot Noir Reserve and our 2018 Chardonnay won a bronze medal recently. So thanks for tuning in. If you are interested in uh, other videos that we have online, you can go to our website, and uh, we appreciate you viewing in today. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.